So this isn't gonna be a very long video, but I just had this thing pop into my head today and I felt like it was important to say it because I, I think it's it's something that a lot of people don't consider and they should they should hear from time to time. So I was listening to the Gary Vee podcast, I don't know what episode, because there's like 50 a day. Um, and he was talking about on a scale of one to 10 and it immediately sent my mind in this other direction because I heard somewhere that on a scale of one to 10, when you have to rate things on a scale of one to 10, you know, one being the worst, 10 being the best, never pick seven. Don't pick seven. Seven is out of the equation. You're not allowed to pick seven. And the reason for that, and I think this makes so much sense, and I think you'll make think it makes sense too once you, once you kind of listen to it. The reason is when you pick seven, you're at the safe point of saying that's, you know, whatever it is, is above average, but not absolutely perfect. So it's like, yeah, it's seven. If you have a six, it's like closer to average. So you're like, you know, you kind of don't want to give people a six on a scale of one to 10. And if you give an eight, then it's really saying they're like, oh, they're doing really good. So seven is like this safe point. You know, seven is a safe point on a scale of one to 10. It, it's, it's not going to offend anybody. You know, it's going to make them feel good because it's better than average, but it's, it's going to also uh, not, you know, it's not going to make their head too big because they're not going to think they're an eight or nine. So, and this doesn't just go for when you have to like rate performance of somebody. It also goes for yourself. When you have to rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 with, with different things in your life, with your competency. That's, that's where, where this really takes the, the most effect when you're rating your own competency. So you don't pick seven. Now, that means you're stuck between six and eight. And let's, let's look at, at six. You know, if you, if you pick six, then it's, it's obvious that, you know, you're not doing terrible, but you obviously need improvement. So it makes you think, like, what are these areas that I need to improve that would get me up to a seven or get me up to an eight, right? So when you pick a six, you know you need improvement and it makes you think about what those areas are. So it makes you do a better evaluation and really consciously think about, you know, what you need to improve on to get better. If you pick an eight, then it's saying, <laughs> here's the thing, this is, this is crazy. If you pick an eight, you're, you probably don't think you deserve it right? If you pick an eight, you're going to be like, well, am I really as good as I think I am? Am I really as good as that eight says, or, you know, or, or the employee is the employee as good as the eight says, because eight is really implying that like you're fucking phenomenal at a lot of shit or whatever the, the, the category is. Eight is, is a really good fucking score. So if you pick the eight, it makes you really look at the issues surrounding it and say, well, is this actually deserving of an eight, right? And that's why seven is a safe number because it's not, you don't really have to question it too much. So, especially when it comes to evaluating yourself, like I said, it's definitely, definitely for like, you know, employee evaluation or, you know, anytime you have to rate anything really. Uh, but especially for yourself, you know, figure, you can't pick seven. And if you're a six or a 10, then it's going to let you know that either you have to work harder or do you actually deserve to, to have the accolades of being an eight. Either way, it pushes you harder to do better because you feel the need to improve. And I would say the same goes for employees, but like people are, are generally pretty sensitive about uh, being critiqued. So, you know, you have to be careful when it comes to other people and this scale. So, but if you use it for yourself, if you use it about other people for yourself, especially employees, if you use it about other people, it lets you, it, it helps, it can help guide you on what you need to do to help them improve, you know, in whatever areas you see, uh, you know, but, but leadership issues are a whole different, whole different animal. I think right now, the, the important thing with what I'm saying is that don't pick seven. On a scale of one to 10, never pick seven. It's too fucking safe.
It was just a thought. Just a thought I had today. So, um, you know, if, uh, if you thought that's a, a useful thing, keep it in mind. And uh, if you think somebody else could stand to hear that, let them know that too. Oh, and ju just for the record, if, if you have to scale yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 and you pick 10, you're probably being fucking conceited. And you need to check yourself because you're not a 10 at anything. Because nobody is. Because there's always somebody better. I mean, that's, I, I guess, unless you're like, who's that, who's that swimming guy with all the medals and the weed? And that guy. You got a thing over here and a thing over there. And you probably got a thing down here.